What's up, Q crew? Back again for another uh, video here, and I decided to sneak away. It is an, a truly beautiful day today, just gorgeous, and um, I had to get out here and uh, do a little fishing. So I thought I'd come out, fish a little bit, and uh, talk about something new I'm going to do on the channel here. I'm going to do a topic of the week, and I'm hoping I can get a lot of you to uh, put some comments, and um, please like and subscribe. But um, basically, this is going to be about any subject that I choose, something I find either interesting or disturbing to me. Um, and this week, I decided to pick online dating. Now, online dating. You know, I'm 48 years old, recently divorced, and... Basically, you know, I was pushing that direction. I said, okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get online, you're gonna set up these accounts, and uh, you're gonna, you know, meet new people this way. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, I'm not impressed with the online dating thing yet. And uh, I've, I've looked at a few different sites, and for the most part, it, it it's unfortunate because I could see the potential in it. I really could see it being a beneficial thing to a lot of people, and I'm sure some of the sites are like that. Um, my first mistake was I went for the free site. You know, got all excited, started started getting messages back from girls, and I was like, okay, this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work. <laughs> and you know, I get I get these messages that say hello. Okay, so if you join this site and you get a message, I have a bite. Hold that thought. I I don't know. I. I'm hoping that, you know, something may come of it. I, I did go out on a couple of dates um, from one of the sites that I joined, and it was all right. You know, it went okay. Uh, I, it was pretty early on in my separation during the divorce process, and I don't think I was quite ready at that time. So basically, I, I backed off for a while. Uh, I felt bad because uh, the two individuals that I did go out with were seriously interested in me, and I, I wasn't interested at all and um, there was a time in my life where you know I could walk into a, a bar and walk out with a new girl every night uh, I know that sounds bad but you know that's the kind of guy I was when I was in my 20s and um, <clears throat> now I just look at it completely differently obviously age definitely affects how you approach a relationship uh, before it was just hey who can I hook up with tonight? And now it's more about, I really want to meet someone I can communicate with, talk to, have a good time with, uh, experience different things with. Um, all of those things are very important to me and I'm at that point in my life where, you know, I know who I am. This is who I am. Either you're gonna like me for who I am because, or you're not gonna like me because honestly, I'm not gonna change. And I'm not afraid to throw out my weaknesses right away. As a matter of fact, um, one of the girls that uh, I was extremely interested in, I laid it out on the line and say, these are my weaknesses. I can tell you right now, this is, these are my problems. And she was extremely shocked that a guy would just throw it out there right away and not try to hide it. Um, unfortunately, nothing ever came of it. The distance was an issue. But uh, that's kind of my approach now, you know? Uh, I actually put my YouTube channel on there saying, you wanna know what I'm like? You wanna know the kind of individual that I am? Here you go. Look first, then let me know if you're interested. So uh, I'm gonna use this channel <laughs> as a promotion for my dating also, I guess. That's, that's pretty pathetic. But it's funny, you might as well use the technology. Everybody's using it, everybody's doing it. And now that I'm getting a little more comfortable with it, um, I'm hoping I can, you know, meet someone and uh, someone outside of my circle because that's the first mistake when you get divorced. You get divorced, you start searching for someone that you know, someone you've been around for a long time that you feel comfortable with. And that, that was a big mistake in the beginning for me. And, but now, I tell you what, I'm going to do a little fishing. Hey, maybe I'll catch something. Last night I had a good night, and of course I didn't bring my GoPro because that's how it always works. But uh, I'm going to fish and enjoy this beautiful lake, this gorgeous weather, the nice, nice light breeze. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about this online dating thing here in just a few minutes, okay?
Now they set the time, maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Freaking gorgeous. But not a damn fish. Well, one fish. GoPro's running. Come on. Yeah, when I caught that bass earlier, mm -hmm. I had shut the GoPro off. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself. I'm never going to catch myself actually catching a fish on my GoPro. I'd like to know how all those guys fucking do that. Probably just running for hours and then they edit it. Well, the battery life's not that good and your SD card fills up and then you're, you know. But basically you're right. Robber goes all the way under. You didn't even catch him. Fishing days are over. New hobby. Retirement. When you gotta retire from fishing, it's time to call it quits, man. Let's see where it goes. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night. You guys take it easy. Please like, subscribe, notifications. You know the routine. Go ahead and go and do it for me. See how this old divorce guy is gonna handle things the next few months. I know one thing, probably not gonna stop talking to you.